How does Tesla build its gigafactories at an incredible speed? Elon Musk does not need an introduction. He's the genius behind Tesla's amazing success as the first EV, which is unparalleled in class and performance. But the real star of the show are the production units, those gigafactories which are responsible for producing some of the intricate machines up to the highest level of quality control in ridiculous numbers. Tesla has been able to build these gigafactories at an unprecedented pace. These alien dread knots, as Musk calls them, are fully automated, and it's baffling how he's been able to put a gigafactory in almost every continent. In this video, we'll talk about how Tesla has been able to build gigafactories at such an incredible pace. Gigafactories are one of the largest factories in the world, and yet these megastructures are finished in less than a year. Finishing up gigafactories at such a speed gives Tesla an advantage in terms of economies of scale. Why does Tesla need gigafactories? Tesla cars are hot commodities. A look at the sales will prove this point. In the year 2020 alone, Tesla sold a total of 500,000, and the production numbers are speculated to increase by 50% for the foreseeable future. This necessitated a very efficient production facility, which could keep up with the demand while minimizing quality issues. Tesla began working on the first Gigafactory in Nevada in 2014 and finished it in 2016. The whole facility spanned over 1.9 million square feet and had some 10,000 employees. After Nevada, gigafactories were built in Buffalo, Shanghai, Berlin, and Austin. Some gigafactories were halted due to environmental issues, especially in Berlin. However, the gigafactory started operating in 2021. Elon Musk tweeted that the initial building speed of the project was impossible seeming and that this template of production was meant to inspire other off-site construction models. Germany took to heart the example of off-site production and became the first country to design almost 9% of its construction projects on off-site techniques. But there are always things that don't go according to plan. For the Berlin Gigafactory, some environmental concerns were raised about the 15,000 concrete piles, which were originally designed to go into the production of the Berlin Gigafactory. Issues of impact on local ecosystems and soiling of groundwater led to the revision of this construction prerequisite. As a result, the number of 15,000 concrete piles was reduced to 500 piles, and changes were made to just constructing a press shop on a piled foundation. The whole project was halted, but due to Musk's foresight, most issues related to preliminary approvals and final permits were resolved by the end of 2020. This rapid deployment led to achievement of terawatt-hour production cycles, which aimed to revolutionize how the world utilized energy. How is Tesla able to produce gigafactories at such a speed? The answer to that question is based on two major factors, cloud-based design and prefab construction. The first important step was building information modeling, BIM. Building information modeling provides the basis for integrated design detailing the fabrication to create a resilient and durable structural system underlying the Gigafactory. The design elements of the Gigafactory had to be flexible enough to accommodate rapid changes in the production process, which could be added in any time. Building information modeling allowed for modifications to the workflow without any adjustments, which would need to be worked into the process. This was in line with Musk's vision to incorporate speed and adaptability into the production design. Gigafactory one ended up using 32,000 tons of structural steel and 9,500 tons of rebar. The foundational stage of Gigafactory 1 was only completed in only seven months. Autodesk BIM 360 enabled all the engineers and design elements to work on the same 3D model in collaboration with each other. The Autodesk was designed to facilitate employees to work in unison, no matter where they were in the world, testing materials, durability, and viability to its design and concept with other engineers rapidly improved the speed of its installation. Prefabricated construction materials are used for rapid deployment of gigafactories. Essentially, this means that a machine is constructed to build the machine. In this way, most of the construction components are already crafted and the only thing to do is to assemble the products in a particular sequence. 
which makes construction efficient and cost-effective. It also gives some time for engineers to think about some needed contingencies. Think about building something using manufacturing processes rather than constructing something anew, for example, a residential lodging, and then putting the constructed parts together. Another important element of building the Gigafactory at such an incredible pace is to allow for work at different parts of the plant simultaneously. When different production processes go hand in hand, the speed of the overall process is increased many fold. However, this design element was only incorporated later on. For example, the China Gigafactory, the different sections were constructed one by one, which means other sections were only constructed once the previous sections were completed. However, for the Berlin Gigafactory, multiple sections of the factory were constructed simultaneously. It bears repeating that Tesla is the first automobile company to employ prefabrication materials and cloud-based design elements for constructing factories. Most of these technologies were earlier used for residential companies. However, Tesla used these techniques for commercial products at a massive scale successfully. Taking inspiration from Tesla's example, other companies such as Mercedes, Volkswagen, and Chinese companies are using the same Gigafactory models to construct their own automobile factories. Design Principles of Tesla's Gigafactories So we previously discussed the steps taken by Tesla to produce Gigafactories. However, these steps were not based on a vision or a random intuition. These steps could be traced to a design philosophy. The real challenge was to implement these design principles to a factory because of the sheer size of the factory. Yet size was not the only thing which stood in its way of implementation. The idea itself is a step towards sustainable building and construction. The first step is is vertical integration. Vertical integration enables the company to design every element in-house. This sounds deceptively simple because it's not possible to design every component in-house because producing every product under a single roof demands technical proficiency and a handsome budget. This saves the company the embarrassment of outsourcing its products to a third party because more often than not, the end product is not in line with original company's product requirements. With vertical integration, the parent company exercises full control over the production process and by extension a tighter control over quality and cost effectiveness. By not delegating the task to an outside company, the company can save a lot of precious resources. Gigafactories under Tesla have mastered vertical integration. The second step is first principles thinking in action. First principles thinking is a fundamental part of Elon Musk's leadership style. A basic part of this leadership style is to ask why at each stage of the production process. Reverse engineering the process in this way rationalizes each decision by solid logic. Through this type of thinking, the status quo is changed. This could be seen in Tesla Gigafactory design, where each step of its design strategy was followed by hard questions. By working backwards in the process flow, one can create innovative and more effective systems. This is especially relevant since a Gigafactory has space to house over a hundred football fields where space has to be thoughtfully dedicated. The third step is customer-oriented innovation. The most important element in this strategy was to produce a tailor-made customer experience. This spurred innovation as per customer wishes. This enables drastic price reductions as only customer-desired changes are fitted into the finished product. Modern technology would have been unaffordable many decades ago and customer feedback had not incorporated into the final product. Tesla cars embody this vision. By being the first EV, Tesla aims to further this project by making more affordable EVs in the future, and Gigafactories are a huge step in this direction. Well, we've come to the end of our video. You are able to understand how Tesla built Gigafactories at such a tremendous pace. Do you think that Tesla will make this process further cost-effective in the future? and how? Feel free to comment in the section below. Like the video and subscribe to our channel for staying updated with the latest content. And thank you for your support.